What's up? How are you today? Your girl is back for another wig video. Honestly, I wasn't going to do no videos today. It's been a rough month for me. It is June and, you know, I'm just trying to make it through this year and cope with a lot of things that have happened to me personally. I kind of was not under the weather as in physically sick, mentally in a struggle and just trying to cope with a lot of things. So with that being said, I really hope that everyone else just loves life and adores life and just don't let everything get you so deep sunken in your thoughts to where, you know what I'm saying? You kind of like avoid the world. That being said, we're going to jump into this video. I work with this company numerous of times and I will give them their kudos and give them their props. They have done a really good job with just evolving with their wig business in a whole, like meaning their wigs have gotten so much better, like just to the point where it's like an amazing journey to be able to work with the wig company and just see them evolve over the years. So Wig Encounters has sent me a body wave, meltable hairline, lace wig. So I'm pretty sure that it's a five, excuse me, an HD Swiss lace. I already went ahead and bleached the knots and pre-plucked it. I did get it in 22 inches. I did already do some things to the wig, bleach the knots, like I said, and pluck it. I did use the purple shampoo on this unit and I did sew an elastic band in it. I didn't do anything else. This is what she looked like. Let me tell y'all, I washed her. And I honestly forgot that she was a body wave because it waved up so much that I thought it was a loose wave and then I had to go back and look at the link. But the body wave waved up like nobody business. So you guys know the normal steps that I take. I'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes prior to seeing it like this. Okay, we just gonna, we're gonna take it from here. When you receive your unit from Wig Encounters, you will receive it in their black standard packaging, which states their name, Wig Encounters. You'll also receive one of their sleeves, and this will tell you the item that you purchased, which I have is the Indian Remy Natural Black 22 inches, 150% density lace frontal, and it's a body weight. You'll also receive a two-piece wig cap. So I know the unit looks like it's a loose wave, but it's actually a body wave. It's 22 inches, 150% density, and girl, the ends of this hair and the hair itself is actually really pretty. I've never seen a body wave so wavy, but I'm going to say this. If you don't want to put heat to it, you can definitely just wash it and go. This is their melteable lace, which means that it's undetectable, invisible, no one's going to see it, and you'll be able to blend it seamlessly. It has been pre-bleached somewhat and also pre-plucked. However, I did use some of my bleach just to take out any speckles. Along with that, I also went ahead and pre-plucked it because I like things the way that I like. But the unit is gorgeous, 22 inches, 150% density, and it's super wavy. Like I stated, this is a body wave. They have many different units to choose from, so I'll definitely link all of their information down below. Make sure you check Wig Encounters out. you guys I'm not gonna be here too long with not waste too much of your time just to all my newbies who ever never watched my tutorials on how to apply lace with I'm just gonna shout you guys out real quick let y'all know how I'm cutting the lace which is you know with a pair of scissors this is like standard girl you gotta cut the lace off or else you're gonna you know you're gonna be walking outside with the lace on so get you a pair of scissors girl and cut the lace i just dip into the grooves of the hairline you know i don't, I don't be trying to be too fancy and extra make sure that wig fit you know take me a rat tail comb make some sideburn hair even just part it throughout the, front, the whole front of the perimeter so that way if you did want some baby hairs you could do that or you can do like I do I use this to blow your arm um, to apply my wig so I was about to spray some hairspray and apply it but you see that little piece of lace listen 
every little piece of lace counts y'all might not think so but that was constricting my wig from laying flat so i had to cut it off now i'm gonna go ahead and spray my bed hair hairspray and i'm just gonna spray it on the inside at the bottom or on the sides and then i'm gonna spray it on top in between that part girl that's why i be making a part most of the time like i don't really need baby hairs like that like that but you know what i'm saying just a little bit of some type of baby hairs and sideburn hairs from time to time you know what i mean you know but yeah girl i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna just continue to do that and yeah make sure you blow dry it dry i mean if you don't have a blow dryer then just spray in small sections and just allow it to air dry this stuff dries really quick i'm gonna go ahead and make me some sideburns and i'm gonna attempt to make like these baby hairs that i've seen like these salon girls like you know the hairstylist girls doing on youtube like i've been trying to do the baby hairs like this for months and i cannot get it but you know some things ain't for everybody so i'm gonna just try it out from here of course i'm gonna go ahead and style the way i will show you guys that all on camera but i think you guys want me to keep talking because you know the jest so i mean i'm gonna just talk a little bit you know from here and from time to time this is me trying to do these baby hairs girl okay the hairline came out super nice it is meltable, okay? Make sure you bleach the knots because they may not be to your standards. That's up to you. I like to bleach my knots. So, sometimes we all is extra. I'm going to take this elastic band that I done sewed together, girl, and I'm going to put that around my front hairline so that way to hold my wig down. I do sleep in this when I decide to wear a wig at night, which is very um, rare now, but this elastic band is way better than wearing a scarf. So, 13 by 4 inches of parting. And I'm going to take my wax stick and I'm going to put that all on the front. And then I'm going to take out one of the most dangerous tools on the face of this earth. Yes, the most dangerous tool. Hair tool, which is this hair, the hot comb. Honey, be careful when you're using this because you can burn yourself. I like to do it, as you see, burn. I like to do it on a mannequin head. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it right here so that way you guys can see. And then I'm just going to curl the rest and I'm going to let you guys listen to some music. stop this video from styling because i'm sitting here i'm sitting here and i'm watching youtube videos and you know this comp this channel called clout chasers they stay talking about people like different channels stay judging other black women when you judge somebody you need to make sure that you are 100 percent put together like check yourself before you anybody else baby it's a shaking about to come I'm kind of like tight because first of all, I don't really talk about other YouTube channels because you do what you want to do. But I get tired of seeing all of these reactors bullying other people for their lifestyle or what have you. At the end of the day, it's not your business. As long as they're not messing with you, bothering you, affecting you, then stop worrying and stop trying to eat off of somebody else's channel. Like there's nothing wrong with reaction videos. However, when you start being a bully and just critiquing and trying to talk down on somebody else, when you look like a hot mess, then you got some nerve. 
gonna say this because this is not my style, but I've had a had I've had had it. The Clout Chaser channel, their mother and daughter. The mother looks like a Tales from the Crypt Keeper, but she stay on YouTube disrespecting other black women, talking about their body size. So what? Nobody is perfect. Nobody is supposed to be like the next person. But when you look like you are in somebody's dungeon, keeping the gate key, you have no room to talk. When you look like Skeletor from He-Man, you have no room to talk about anyone, okay? Okay. As a woman, you should never, ever try to bash and put down another woman. And if you look like you then slept under somebody's bridge and is the biggest troll keeper, then you have no business talking about anybody but yourself. I just was watching this and I'm just like, this lady has a nerve and audacity to sit here and talk about anybody. Like, who are you? Girl, do you have any mirrors? That's what I was thinking. Let me tell you something, because I'm not perfect, and I'm not about to sit here and talk about nobody. Now, if you talk about me, I'm talking about people. And, and, and have some class, okay? I am on a diet, boo. I am no longer eating anybody's BS, their negative energy, and other bitches' problems. Now back to the video. Enough for me to prove Baby, you the remedy. You're my mirror. I can finally see, bringing out the best in me. Yeah, I don't want no problems, but I know I got a lot of work to do. Baby, I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. Working out my issues with you, with you. My highs and my lows It's part of being human Can you weather the storm? I'm starting to believe you can Cause baby you the remedy well, she came out really cute, simple, 13 by 4. So the one thing that I did want to do is I was trying to do the baby hairs a little bit different. And I see, like, certain ways that hair salons, the hairstylists, styling these baby hairs. And I was really trying to get to that level. But, girl, it's so hard. Like, it must be the way that they go in and cut the hair on the side. You know, some things just not for you and maybe that's one that's just not for me okay i'm gonna just stick to what i know and that's that i have a certain skill set that a lot of people don't know about that's it. i did not flat iron the hair i didn't straighten it i only straightened the top portion so it's kind of still wavy plus i also used this lift up or this volume lift from john frieda's that i did get as gifted from octoly.com you guys know i love octoly i'm always talking about them they have like the most amazing products that you can review you know what I'm saying? You just give your unbiased review and girl, you get to keep the products. You can blow your hair out and use this with it. It can be wet. It can be dry. It did give me a little bit of lift. I wasn't going ham on it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going crazy. But I like John Frieda products. They have some really good products. And this one was kind of nifty. Yes, I said the word nifty. Okay. Because it had like a little locking mechanism on the side. So just in case you're traveling and you bring this with you, you can definitely lock it and it will not spray out but as for wig and tent counters like i said they have been doing the daggone thing it is a little on the dry side you know what i'm saying so you know it may need a little good deep condition the lace is meltable it is only a 13 by 4 so if you're looking for that extra partage then you may want to look at the other units that they have available i wanted to try to lift it up for the summertime heat i don't want it all on my neck i don't want it all on my back and a lot of people cannot just put their hair up in a bun or a ponytail, especially with a lace wig, because it requires some work. Just one thing you can do that may help you out in the long run, and that way you don't have to be frustrated and over hot. Okay, so to make your life a little bit more easier and you can still look cute, all you gotta do, girl, is put on a headband, okay? I'm just gonna pull it up. Just use your fingers, okay? And just brush it all together. It doesn't have to be the neatest. Okay, but we'll just make it somewhat decent. Okay, now as you guys see, here it is. This is it. I just used my fingers and brushed it up. Now I'm going to take the hair because I don't want it in the way when I'm about to wrap my ponytail holder around it. So I'm just going to take it and twirl it real quick. 
and just hold it between my fingers. And then I'm going to take this um, ponytail holder, which is actually not really a ponytail holder. It's an elastic headband. I just cut them open. You could pop them open. I'm going to take one finger right there. And then I'm just going to take the other hand and wrap it around. Now, normally I'll tie them in the back, but because of this video, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to tie it in the front. Just a regular tie. You don't want to knot it too much because then you're not going to be able to get it off without cutting it. You can get these headbands anywhere, Dollar Tree, wherever. And this one is like a knotted one, kind of like right here. And just to cover the back up, where your wig is at and on the sides, girl, look. Now you can either wear this as a ponytail or you can either wear it as a ponytail, but just make sure that the elastic is covered or you can take your hair. I just twist it. Then I just wrap it and I'll take like a hairpin and there you have it, okay? Simple and cute with your lace wig on with minimal effort, okay? Like seriously, I'm just saying. I like to wear them up in a bun a lot, but some days I have my days when my wig is just not working for me or I'm not trying to work for it. Or honey, I'm not trying to put in too much effort. Yeah, girl, me too. So put you on a cute headband, girl. Put your hair up, okay? This will hide all of the back, all right? Honey, nobody's gonna know the difference, seriously. And you still look cute. Pull a little bit down in case you feel a little bit uncomfy. Make it till you make it, girl. I'm just saying. Nobody ain't got to know you got on a wig, honey. Okay. So on that note, I'm about to go because I'm feeling really cute in this whole get up. You know what I'm saying? For a dollar, make me holla. I'm talking about the headband, girl, not the wig, all right? Meaning that you can go to the Dollar Tree and get you some really cute headbands like this. I'm not saying this one came from there because it did not. But I do have some that look very similar to this. Actually identical, just in a solid color. And they came from the Dollar Tree. Listen, just check out Wig Encounters. I will post all of their information down below for you guys. On that note... <laughs> Your girl got to go. I hope you guys are staying safe. Don't let nobody get on your nerves. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, share it. And like I say, I love you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Rockstar when I pop out with metal. Red bottom like I dance with the devil. Snakes up in their grass, shit is